This is Brendan Cronin. I'm going to guide you through and explain the procedure of collagen crosslinking combined with a laser phototherapeutic keratectomy, sometimes called an Athens Protocol procedure. This is the room the procedure is done in. The procedure involves a very expensive laser called an eczema laser. It's amazing technology, the eczema laser. Most people know the laser is the machine that's used for LASIK or laser eye surgery to get patients out of glasses. That's absolutely not what we're using it for in this case. When we do a phototherapeutic keratectomy, we are doing a therapeutic procedure to your eye to try and get your good vision again in glasses or potentially better vision in a weaker pair of glasses. And the reason we're doing that in keratoconus is because of the shape of your cornea. In keratoconus, your cornea is shaped abnormally. It has a conical type shape to it. This is a gross oversimplification in an example here. But what we're trying to do is laser away that irregular part of the cornea, the part that's in red. Obviously, that's an oversimplification. But we're just trying to regularize your cornea. Some people call this a laser corneal regularization procedure. The abnormal shape of your cornea in keratoconus is very rarely fixed well by glasses. So instead of the laser reshaping your cornea to get you out of glasses, we're trying to reshape the abnormal part of your cornea so that you can see well again in glasses. The surface layer of cells of the eye is sometimes removed with the laser as a part of the procedure and other times it's removed manually. You can see I'm removing the surface cells here. After the laser part, we'll perform the collagen cross-linking procedure and that's where we soak the eye in vitamin B or riboflavin, which is vitamin B2, and then apply an ultraviolet light to the eye. The ultraviolet light and the vitamin B interact in the cornea to make it much, much stronger. Of course, I will always offer this procedure to you if I think it's uh, the appropriate or the best procedure for you, but not everybody needs to have the laser resurfacing procedure done with their collagen cross-linking, so I certainly won't offer it if it's not appropriate or needed. You'll see the laser's just about to start here. You see a red flashing light and you'll see some little purple dots moving across the cornea. That's actually the eczema laser reshaping this person's cornea. If you've got health insurance, this procedure doesn't cost you anything at all as long as you're covered for the two item numbers associated with the laser and the collagen cross-linking. If you don't have insurance, there'll be a fee for it and the staff at Queensland Eye Institute can give you a quote. You can see that laser finishing off there. And now I'll start to apply the riboflavin, the yellow vitamin B2, to the cornea in this patient. You tend to be fairly sleepy for this part of the procedure. In the hospital, there's an anaesthetist who can sedate you. So you often sleep through that part, and we need to wake you up for this part where you're looking directly at the ultraviolet light. It's really important you're awake and alert for this part of the procedure. You'll still be relaxed, but you need to stare up at the light for about 10-15 minutes so that the light is adequately focused on your cornea. This causes the chemical reaction called collagen cross-linking in your eye. The procedure itself isn't uncomfortable, but afterwards you really can be very uncomfortable and sometimes quite painful. We'll do everything we can to reduce that pain for you. We use a special bandage contact lens that's soaked in a, an anti-inflammatory medication, and you can see that going on the eye here, uh, to try and reduce the pain. We'll give you lots of analgesia tablets and even analgesia in a drip. So we do everything we can to reduce that. And a lot of people say it wasn't as bad as what we say, but we do like to prepare you for the fact that you probably won't do much for a couple of days after the procedure. Just go home, close your eyes, listen to audio books or some music, things like that. Normally the pain is almost completely gone after two or at most three days. It's unusual for it to last any more than that. You'll be given antibiotic, anti-inflammatory and lubricating eye drops after the procedure. It's absolutely critical that you use these as instructed. Some patients don't use the lubricants enough because they think their eye is watering already. That's not a good reason not to use them. You really must follow the instructions. If you don't use the eye drops or, or even with them, but very, very rarely, there are risks such as infection or your keratoconus getting worse or worse vision. These risks are obviously very small. We do the procedure because you have progressing keratoconus and the risks of progressing keratoconus giving you worse vision are very, very high as opposed to the small risks with the procedure.